Electra, and we're at the place where Hollywood dreams are made, checking out the scene at the Sundance Film Festival in Park City, Utah. You see, every young filmmaker here is hoping that his movie will gain the attention of some big studio and score him a deal of a lifetime. So VH1 is celebrating the event with their own little salute to the genre, the lift ticket to ride, movies that rock marathon. It's VH1's Lift Ticket to Ride Movies That Rock Marathon. An entire day of VH1's top picks in rock and roll flicks coming to you from the Sundance Film Festival. We're in the middle of that thing you do. And now I hear that all the actors in the movie actually learn to play their own instruments. And by the end of the movie, they felt like a real band. Well, coming up, the boys get a bigger taste of success. But how will they deal with it? You're about It's VH1's Lift Ticket to Ride. I'm Carmen Electra, and my job is to usher you through the Movies That Rock Marathon while, in a subtle way, plugging my new movie, Perfume. You just don't even know. I'm the, your biggest fan. Oh. Yeah, I was just in Milan, and I went to some shows. I bought, like, I have this gold medal outfit that you made. It's so beautiful. You, Thank you. you are so the sweet. bomb. You are. See? Just like that. <laughs> We're checking out That Thing You Do, featuring, as you'll notice, Mrs. Tom Hanks' Rita Wilson. She also appears in my new movie, and she was so sweet and wonderful to work with. And I mean that. I'm not just saying that because Tom Hanks is her husband, and he could probably ruin my career if he wanted to. So, will the wonder survive the spoils of fame or become just another flash in the pan? Let's find out. All right, brace yourself for the riveting conclusion of That Thing You Do, starring Tom Hanks. And remember, there's another great movie that rocks right around the corner, so keep it here. To celebrate, we've got back-to-back -back movies that rock all day long. I'm here promoting my new movie, Perfume. Are you guys gonna go see it? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Dan Aykroyd has had a long, distinguished career in film. He co-wrote and starred in Ghostbusters, which set records at the box office. But the role for which he is perhaps most remembered is Elwood Blues. The original Blues Brothers was the first major movie to be born of characters created on Saturday Night Live, paving the way for the likes of Wayne's World and others. Up now, we've got the sequel, Blues Brothers 2000. Joining Elwood are John Goodman and a host of rhythm and blues luminaries, just like the originals. So kick back, relax, and get your mojo rising for Blues Brothers 2000 on the Movies That Rock Marathon. This is VH1's Lift Ticket to Ride Movies That Rock Marathon. I'm Carmen Electra here at the Sundance Film Festival, and my idea of a good time at a ski lodge is just kicking back and checking out the hot snowboarders. But enough about me. Let's get back to the movie. Looks like Elwood Blues is on another mission from God. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Willie's, the state's most elegant establishment for entertainment. It is cheaper to kill. Sunday, 2001. Yeah, rock on. Welcome to the Sundance Film Festival. We're kicking it at VH1's Lift Ticket to Ride Movies That Rock Marathon, an entire day of choice music movies back to back. We're in the middle of Blues Brothers 2000, the second installment in the Blues Brothers saga. Like the first one, it's got great cameos from R&B legends like Aretha Franklin, Bo Diddley, B.B. King, Eric Clapton, and James Brown. But it's the explosions and car crashes that make it special. Dick checking out the fat Sundance scene. The Sundance Film Festival gives low-budget independent filmmakers the chance to get their movie seen by industry bigwigs. And nothing says low-budget independent film quite like Blues Brothers 2000. So without further delay, let's get back to the hardest working and most felonious band, the Blues Brothers, on VH1's Lift Ticket to Ride, Movies That Rock Marathon. 
everybody, I'm Carmen Electra, and I'm on a mission from God to bring you the next installment of Blues Brothers 2000. Sure, it's not exactly an art house classic like you might see at the Sundance Film Festival, but where else are you going to catch the biggest car crash ever recorded on film? So, what do you say? Let's get back to the party. Oh, <laughs> 